You're back. You've got a fever for the funk, I can tell. This little riff we're going to do today is just a silly little thing that I came up with, but it's cool because it's going to let us get into a couple of techniques that we haven't done yet. And the first one is going to be a double thumb. Now, a lot of guys I think get confused on the double thumb just because they're not sure the exact motion of what you're doing because really it's a simple thing at its core. Now you take Victor Wooten or Marcus Miller and those guys and the stuff they do with it and it can get pretty out there but at its core it's real simple. You're basically just using your thumb as a pick. You're coming down and then back up with it. And I think the part where people get confused is they think they're doing a normal slap motion. They're coming in like you would with a normal slap but you're not. You're coming down on it a little more and then bringing your thumb back up. Check it out. See? Not hard. It's coming down, back up. So for this little riff, we're going to start off with that and then we're going to do a pop on the octave. Not too complicated, you'll get it. And then we're just going to do another pop, this time from the B to the C. Not hard. Ooh, don't forget that clunk. That's important. So that's the main part of that. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to slide into a little chord shape here and we haven't really done any of that yet but it's not hard. Well, what I want you to do is come up here to the uh, 11th fret of your D string and then I want you to take your middle finger and put that down here on the 10th fret of your G string and sound that and I want you to slide that a half step up so we're just sliding into this. And what you've got there is the uh, root and the third of your D. Don't believe me? Check it out. There's the root, D. And what's the octave of that? Why, well, it's the note we were just playing there. And then you'd have your second on the E, then your third on the F sharp. And what's the octave of that? Well, it's the second note we were just playing there. So, you got yourself a little chordal thing in D there. Nice. We got something new for you. So we're just going to come on back up here. Then we're going to do a little just hammer on here from our F to F sharp. Just hammer that on, pull it off. You're just striking it the one time. And then just doing the hammer. So let's put that together. There you go. That's pretty much it. I mean, you just do that again, do it as much as you want. Fool around with it, you know, put some extra stuff in there, but just really work on the getting that thumb down and coming back up. And just see how quick you can get with that. I mean, the sky's the limit. Like I say, Victor Wood and those cats, I mean, they do some crazy stuff with it. You know, they get into all these chords and then they're slapping and popping and doing little slaps and pops with the thumb coming back up. I mean, it's crazy what they do. And I can't do it, so I can't show you. But you get this part of it down, you can move on, learn it from somebody else. Peace. <laughs>